Jeonju Village is a village in Jeonju containing more than 800 traditional Korean houses called Hanoks. In 2010, the city of Jeonju was designated for its slow pace of life where nature and traditional Korean culture blend harmoniously. Since then, the number of tourists coming to Korea has increased rapidly and Jeonju, excluding Seoul, is behind Jeju and Busan in tourist attractions. Jeonju city also plays a key role in the history of Korea. In the 900s, it was the capital of the kingdom of Hubeokje, which was founded by Gwonhwan. In the Joseon dynasty, Jeonju also governed the Jeollado area along with Jeju Island, which was considered the center of administration. This is why the Jeonju city is also called the ground of 1,000 years worth of history. People first settled in the Jeonju area over 10,000 years ago. At first, people lived around the foot of the mountain. Then, in the Silla Kingdom, people moved into the flat area surrounding the mountain. People in Jeonju began constructing the city's defensive wall, and many villages naturally formed the wall around the city wall during the Korean Empire period. The residential area within the page began to expand throughout the Pongyamdong and Gyeongdong districts led by the Yangban. The village has become one of the most popular tourist attractions of Jeonju. The Jeongdong Catholic Church in Jeonju was completed in 1914 and was designed by priest Paniel, who also designed the famous Myeongdong Cathedral in Seoul. It is the largest and oldest Western-style structure in the Jeollanamdo and Jeollabukdo provinces. The church was built where the first Korean Catholic martyr, Yung Ji Chong, passed away. It is one of South Korea's three Catholic churches, including Myeongdong Cathedral in Seoul and the Gisan Catholic Church in Daegu. The architectural style of the Jeongdong Cathedral is a mixture of the Romanesque and Byzantine styles and is considered one of the most beautiful buildings in Korea. Gyeonggi-jeon is the hall where the portrait of Lee Sung-ge is enshrined. It was built in 1410 in the 10th year of King Taejong's rule. Gyeonggi-jeon is designated as the 339th private historical landmark of Korea while the portrait of Lee Sung-ge itself is designated as the 317th national treasure. Gyeonggi-jeon is located in front of Jeonju Hanok village, which is why many tourists come to visit to see it first. Gyeonggi-jeon was once larger than it was now. The west side of Gyeonggi-jeon and its annex were demolished to make room for a Japanese elementary school during the period of Japanese colonialism. The remaining building is a simple structure that connects a set of outer and inner gates. Gangnam <laughs> Gate is the south gate of the city wall that enclosed Jeonju during the Joseon dynasty. It was the only remaining gate after the destruction of the wall. Gangnam Gate was designated as the national treasure of 308 on January 21, 1963. Joseon was the provincial governor's capital during the Joseon dynasty. It also had a set of fortifications to enclose the city. It had gates in all four directions, but all of them were demolished in the 30th year of King Sonju's rule, 1597. After three years of repair work, which started in 1978, the Pungnam Gate was restored. The column arrangement of the gate, especially the part located on the second story, is a very rare Korean building style. Gamyeong is the provincial government complex during the Joseon dynasty. I'm pretty sure that over there is like the place where you like do the tea bargain. Jola refers to the southwestern part of the Korean peninsula. Jola Gamyeong is the provincial government complex that oversaw the administrative, judiciary, and military affairs of the southwestern region. Today's Jolan Bukdo, Jolan Namdo, and even Jeju Island for more than five centuries. The original site used to be much larger, but last October, seven keys buildings of the complex were restored. Sonodang is the office of Jalagamsa. It has been the most important building during the restoration. The Sonodang building was destroyed and rebuilt repeatedly during the tumultuous history of the Joseon dynasty. However, it was completely destroyed during the Korean War. The original Jola Gamyeong complex used to have more gates and more buildings. However, fully restoring the original complex is impossible.